What's up guys, I'm Brett Blakemore from SummitGuitarSchool.com. Today I am teaching you Here on Earth by Tim McGraw. And it's a pretty simple song, standard tuning. You only need four chords. You need a D major, a G major, a B minor, and a G major. I guess that only makes it three chords, but that makes it even easier. The strumming pattern is a little fast, but I'll break it down strum for strum. I'm even gonna throw in a little palm muting lesson that kind of goes with the song to kind of vary your um, dynamics throughout the song. And as a guitar player, a growing musician, which you should be, you shouldn't be here just to learn the song, you should be trying to become better every single time you pick up the guitar. You wanna learn little things like that, little techniques that'll make you sound like you're a better guitar player, because guess what? Every time you learn something like that, it makes you a better guitar player. So, with that said, let's get started. Please do me a favor, if you like this video and you learned something, consider liking and subscribing. Head over to the website and subscribe to our newsletter. There is a link in the description that'll give you a free lesson once a month. I won't spam you. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We really appreciate the support. All right, let's talk about this song. Pretty simple chord progression, and uh, it's got some great lyrics. So, uh, you're gonna get a D chord. Literally the exact same thing the whole time. So um, I'm banging this one out for you guys real quick. So D, open, it's in standard tuning, open, second fret, third string, third fret, second string, second fret, first string, D, D major, you should know that one already. G, another easy one you should know. Three, two, open, open, three, three. I like to have the double uh, third fret thing up here. It just doubles the fifth of the chord kind of makes it sound a little bit more modern. You can also do the old school way. And then uh, you've got a B minor. We're gonna do the bar chord version because you need to learn it. So I like to get these fingers first when I'm doing a bar. So third finger, fourth fret, fourth string. Pinky, fourth fret, third string. Middle finger, third fret, second string in your index bar. All right, you kind of gotta get your wrist out there. Push hard. Get these down firm and then put the index. All right, and then you're back to G. That's literally the whole song. So the strumming pattern um, starts out as this kind of muted thing in the intro. It kind of just sounds like they're just doing this the whole intro, but you might as well just through the first verse, but you might as well just play through the chords, just mute them. So I'm just gonna palm mute, all right? So you're just gonna go. Just like that, all right? So down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. When I palm you, well, first let's talk about the strumming pattern. So it's the same strumming, you can use the same strumming pattern through the whole thing. You just, every once in a while, there's a stop in there, but like, you just let it ring, that's what I mean by stop, but it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And you want to get that right. You don't want to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Because that's just teaching you bad habits. That's not the true way to play the guitar anyway. So um, it's down, down, up. got to get it up to speed for it to sound really like the song but if you don't know the pattern you'll have to start it slower so down down up down 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 up. you want to go slow down down up, up down up down 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 up and that's that the whole thing now once you get the strumming pattern then you want to add this muted thing And every once in a while I come off of the muted thing, but my palm is essentially back here on the bridge, all right? If it's too far up, you won't get that cool kind of pizzicato chord sound. Pizzicato just means like short notes. So, and then your palm goes right back here, so you just go. It feels different than strumming freehand like this because you're kind of locked to the locked to the strings, but you gotta get used to it, especially if you you know, want to just kind of continue to improve on guitar. You need these different techniques to make yourself sound better and to continue to improve. So check it out. G, down. Two measures of each. So I did there D, two, three. Back to G and then D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, and then you're full strumming when it's the chorus. G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And that's literally how you play the end. 
Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments.